Hello everyone, Catherine here. Today I have wonderful news to share with you. One of you guys contacted me because he wanted to share an amazing success story. He avoided dialysis and was able to get his kidney health back on track, like he says. His name is Chris and he is a truck driver, 57 years old. He is suffering from diabetic kidney disease. Not only has his EGFR improved from 25 to 43, but he managed to come off many of the medications thanks to certain changes to his diet and lifestyle and to the use of a couple of supplements. Now, Chris's story is peculiar because his own mother passed away due to kidney disease and he really didn't want to suffer from the same fate. Chris and I had a wonderful conversation during the holidays and he asked me to share his story here in Double Dog Kidney. So I will. Today, we are going to see what dietary changes, what remedies and what lifestyle changes help him almost doubling his kidney function. Let's hear from Chris now. Hello, Catherine. Thank you very much for all you do to help people with kidney disease. I've seen that you tell people to share their stories here. So here's mine. I went from a GFR of 25 to a GFR of 43. I was really shocked to learn that my diabetes got worse and that I had kidney disease. I wasn't expecting to get those lab results in. It was just devastating because of what my mother went through. She had to undergo dialysis for years and she passed away from end-stage kidney disease. And I never thought of myself having it until I got these routine lab results back. Back then, I didn't know what that meant, but my GFR was down to 25. My doctor was already thinking about how many months to dialysis. My doctor didn't think there was anything I could do except drink more water. Okay guys, until now, his story is pretty similar to what so many patients go through every day. And it's unfortunate, really unfortunate that he was diagnosed in the advanced stages of CKD. It's even worse that he received no help at all from his doctor. Now, what makes Chris' story special is that he didn't lose hope. Despite what happened to him, despite the loss of his own mother due to kidney disease, he didn't lose hope. He didn't, you know, just waited for dialysis to come. He decided to fight back. He started to get informed and he eventually found ways not only to slow down kidney disease, but to improve his kidney function. He also tells me that he has now stopped taking his blood pressure medication because he doesn't need it anymore. So let's see how he was able to achieve this. My doctor didn't think there was anything I could do except drink more water. But I did look online to see what I could find out, if there is anything I could do to prevent going through what my mother went through. And I did find many info on YouTube. I watch your channel and many others. What I found was really empowering. Maybe there is something I can do to stop this, to prevent going through what my mother went through, because it was just the worst, most terrible experience in my life. So I did try to change my diet. It wasn't easy because avoiding protein when you have diabetes means you can eat just few things. Finding the right foods has been a gradual thing over time and I did take the supplements. Okay, more about this in the next part of the video. So first of all, I want to congratulate Chris for his huge achievement. Chris got his GFR back to 43 when it was 25. Now, that's something really impressive. A GFR of 25 means you are in stage four. It's not common for patients in stage 4 to see an improvement in GFR and getting back in stage 3 is even more impressive. So congratulations. Now, I've also chat via email with Chris because I wanted to know more about his diet. You see, when you have diabetes and kidney disease, eating right can become an issue. So I asked him how he was able to manage his diet. Here's what he says. 
I talked to my doctor about my diet because I saw on the internet that changing the diet can help. He sent me to another doctor and then another. Eventually, I was able to find a competent dietitian, not a nutritionist, a real dietitian specialized in diabetes. She told me to stop eating meat and fish at first and to see how it goes. When I met her again, my GFR was stable. I knew that something we were doing was working. Then we went more in depth about the diet and I started seeing this dietitian more often. She told me to limit protein more aggressively. We also removed a lot of processed foods and I started to lose weight. Okay, that's amazing. It's really great that Chris was able to find someone actually brave enough to recommend a low protein diet to someone with diabetes because you see, it's a proven fact that a plant-based low protein diet is key to protect kidney function in non-diabetic patients. But it's fairly recent news that also those with diabetes can protect their kidneys by greatly reducing protein and meat intake. Now, the low protein diet for those with diabetes is a pretty big topic I've covered more in depth in one of my recent videos. It's up here if you miss it. But there is more from Chris's story I want to show you. Because you see, he's also taking some supplements and those supplements were able to get him out of his blood pressure medication. So let's see how. Something that helped me are the vitamins you recommended for diabetes. Those really help me with my blood sugar levels. And I'm taking the garlic pills you've talked about. When I started to take them, my blood pressure got lower and I stopped taking one of my medications. It was just amazing and I did see an improvement in my numbers. I have found that I can make a difference in using the supplements and changing my diet. And I've started to exercise at a sports and wellness facility twice a week and that makes me feel good. It was really encouraging to see that I've been able to go back to a GFR of 43 and it had been 25. I hope in the future to be able to stop my diabetes medication too. Okay, I bet you want to know what vitamin he is taking to manage his diabetes and also how he was able to get rid of a blood pressure medication with garlic. So garlic, no food in existence has as many health benefits as garlic in my opinion. You can effectively use garlic to lower blood pressure, to lower cholesterol levels, to fight inflammation and to boost your natural immunity. And recent review of studies also link the use of garlic to lower blood glucose levels and improve insulin resistance. Incredibly useful for those with diabetes. And all these benefits are proven by science. There are hundreds of studies documenting the benefits of garlic. So question, how to lower blood pressure with garlic? To lower your blood pressure, you will need to consume garlic in small amounts two or three times per day and keep monitoring your blood pressure. Now, not everyone can manage their blood pressure with just one medication. So you will need to adjust your garlic intake depending on your blood pressure. Chris told me that he is using two sources of garlic, the food itself and a supplement in pills. And you know what? They both work. I've personally tested several brands of garlic supplements and they mostly work if they contain allicin. Look for aged garlic extract supplements or other garlic extracts that contain allicin. Kayolic is the most known brand when it comes to aged garlic extract, but other brands work too. I've linked some trustworthy brands down in description. So my advice here is to do what Chris is doing. Start taking one clove of garlic prepared like I've shown you here two times a day with a meal and use a health journal to track the improvements. Now a very important tip, adding parsley and a bit of olive oil will really help the body absorbing allicin better. This also fights the body odor caused by garlic. Remember that taking garlic this way regularly may positively affect your triglyceride levels, cholesterol, blood pressure, Hb1ac, and blood sugar levels. Obviously, consult your doctor and have them help adjusting your medications for your new, improved levels. And if eating raw garlic several times a day is too time consuming for you, consider taking a supplement. Now guys, if you think garlic is amazing, you are right. What's even more amazing is the vitamin Chris is using to manage his diabetes. 
he told me that he learned about this vitamin from one of my videos and that he talked about it with his dietitian. Well, he got the green light about this vitamin almost immediately because, you see, this nutrient was used to lower blood sugar levels by 31.5 mg per dl in just 3 months in diabetes patients. This is probably the least known vitamin in the world, but it comes with unsuspected health benefits. This is not a vitamin you can find in a multivitamin. I'm talking about vitamin B8. Wait, vitamin B8? Does it even exist? Well, we know there is a vitamin B7 and a vitamin B9, but vitamin B8 is not considered a vitamin anymore. Today, it is more known with the name inositol. But inositol is really incredible and it has many benefits, especially for those with diabetes and kidney disease. Inositol can lower blood sugar levels by 31.5 mg per dl. In this study, those taking it were also able to lower their A1c levels from 8.6% to 7.7% in just 3 months. So, why a vitamin that can lower blood sugar by 31.5 mg per dl is not considered a vitamin? To be considered a vitamin, a nutrient must have two requisites. It must be needed for normal human body function, which inositol is, and it shouldn't be possible for the human body to make it by itself. Now, some inositol is actually made inside the human body, so when scientists discovered that vitamin B8 was not a vitamin anymore. Yes, the kidneys do actually make some inositol. However, for many people, only relying on what the body makes is not enough. Supplementing inositol may be especially beneficial for those with kidney problems, as Chris discovered when he started taking this vitamin. Now guys, there are a lot of inositol supplements available and not all of them can help you. Also, you need to take inositol in the right dosage if you want it to help you. Please watch my video up here if you want to know more. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless.